ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help. Calling or to order the meeting of the Arlington Select Board for July 22nd, 2024. My name is John Hurd. I'm neither the chair nor the vice chair. But as the chair is on vacation and the vice chair is also on vacation, we default to our next metric of best looking select board member. And so <laughs> happy to step into that role uh, and um, chair the meeting tonight. I will read the preamble. I will not say Eric Helmuth. Welcome. I'm calling to order the me this meeting of the Arlington Select Board on July 22nd, 2024. I am Select Board Member John Hurd. Tonight's meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format consistent with the provisions in state law for remote participation in public meetings. Before we begin, please note the following. The meeting is being conducted in the Select Board Chambers and over Zoom. It is being recorded and simultaneously broadcasted on ACMI. People wishing to join the meeting by Zoom may find information on how to do so on the town's website. People participating in person or by Zoom are reminded that you may be visible to others and that if you, do, if you wish to participate, we ask that you provide your full name and place of res residence in the interest of developing a record of the meeting. Both Zoom participants and persons watching on ACMI can follow the posted agenda materials found on the town's website, specifically the Arlington Select Board agendas and minutes page. If te technical difficulties sever the remote connection to one or more participants and efforts to reconnect within a reasonable time fail, the in-person meeting will continue at the discretion of the chair, provided that a quorum of the board is physically present. Zoom participants are encouraged to retain the phone number provided in their confirmation email for a backup audio connection to the meeting. There will be the the following opportunities for public comment on tonight's meeting. We will have a few public hearings and then we do have open forum tonight. If you're attended by Zoom and want to participate, please raise your hand when I announce the public comment is open. If you do not know how to raise your hand in Zoom, now would be an excellent time to Google how to do so. Let's see how much of the town's business we can do tonight. And the first item or a series of items is our consent agenda. We have minutes of meetings June 10th, 2024, June 24th, 2024. We have a vote authorizing police details for the state primary September 3rd, 2024, Julie Brazil, town clerk. We have a request for a contractor drain layer license from ANS Water and Sewer Inc. of Lynn, Massachusetts and TR Construction Masonry, LLC, Tingsboro, Massachusetts. We have acceptance from various, of funds from various entities, David Morgan, Environmental Planner and Conservation Agent. We have a request for a one-day beer and wine license for July 25th, 2024 and July 31st, 2024 at the Whittemore, Whittemore Park Summer Concert Series, Matt Guernsey. We have a request for a one-day beer and wine license for August 3rd, August 10th, August 17th, August 24th, August 31st, September 7th, September 14th, September 21st, and September 28th, all in calendar year 2024, at the Jason Russell House for Arlington Beer Garden. Robert Brazil, President of the Arlington, Massachusetts, Arlington Historical Society, and Matthew Beers, Director of Arlington Historical Society. And finally, we have a Middle Eastern dance show by Sayi at Whittemore Park on Friday, August 30th, 2024, by Claudia Donay. Do we have any motions? Mr. Helmer. I would like to move approval. We have a second. We have a second. All right, on a motion to approve the consent agenda by Mr. Helmuth. Seconded by Mr. Diggins. All in favor say aye. 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 It is a 3-0 vote. All right. 
That will bring us to public hearing at 715. We have a betterment, a Brattle Place betterment request. We have our materials in front of us, and I believe we have Dan White from the abutters that can come up Correct. to the chair here. If you want to sit down. We have all the materials. We have the consents. It's good to have unanimous consent from uh, on a betterment order. Uh, but if you want to tell us a little bit about the control. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> thank you, members of the select board, acting chair. I should also point out that there are uh, three other abutters present. Uh, and if you could perhaps hear from them separately. Yep. It's a public um, hearing, yep. Uh, anyway, I've lived uh, on Brattle Place for approximately 20 years. Um, it's a short gravel, dirt, dead end dirt road that runs between Brattle Street and the bike path. Um, there's approximately 10 houses on the street, five on each side. It's probably a couple hundred yards long. It's been in various states of disrepair during the 20 years that I've lived there. Um, every couple years, the abutters have gotten together, paid for repairs out of pocket. Um, they're very short term fixes. Uh, typically we'll have, um, you know, exav excavation company remove some material, lay down new material, grade it, steamroll it, and it lasts for a winter or two. Uh, we've done it, our, we've rented bobcats ourselves, had the material brought in, done it ourselves, which was a little bit more affordable. But the bottom line is it only lasts for about a year and the potholes are, at this point, at this stage, they're almost impassable. Uh, a number of the neighbors that have, you know, non four wheel drive vehicles bottom out every time they leave the, the road. Um, guest bottom out. <clears throat> it's also a major thoroughfare for commuters. Uh, I would estimate a couple of hundred, perhaps, um, commuters bicycle down our road to get to the bike path every day. Um, and I think I speak for the whole neighborhood when I say we're somewhat in fear of being held liable for any bicycle accidents on that street, given how bad the, the state of the road is. We've definitely had bicyclists fall down um, injured themselves. We had a very large sinkhole at the very end of the street about a year ago. There was uh, just a pinhole leak in a water line. Uh, and the, the ground really opened up to be pretty significant sinkhole. Thankfully, nobody fell in that. Um, but, you know, certainly if they had, I don't know what our level of liability would be, but I've been told given that it's a private road, we're responsible for maintaining it. So that's the purpose of uh, the betterment request. Okay. Do you have any questions for the proponent? All right, you're, I'll take, take your seat. Thank you. All right, this is a public hearing, so anyone that wishes to speak can raise your hand in the room. You can take a seat up here, sir. And... Speaker uh, name. Uh, yep, so, yeah, we need you to speak into the microphone here. Right here? Yep. yep. All right, great. Uh, Steve Murray, um, a Brattle Place. For 56 years, I've traveled on Brattle Place uh, going to school. Uh, brief history to that, there were three Public Works employees. I, in terms of names, I won't be dropping many except for the three prior Public Works employees. They're all deceased. Um, McEwen, McGurl, and Dixon. So they saw to Brattle Place being maintained. And I'm going to be brief. Number two, there, I didn't hear Dan say, with all due respect, and Dan is done great to try to communicate, but we only learned about this, and it's not unanimous. Um, the vote for Eight Brattle Place was undecided, and that's why I'm here for a, a significant purpose. Uh, the, the second point, though, is Eight Brattle Place was damaged by a contractor, and their attempts to provide betterments. How bad? The house had to be evacuated. There were over $2,000 worth of damage and unfortunately, and sadly, for those that are tuned in as four of those neighbors, actually no one said they were sorry. They all pointed. That's my segue very clearly. I can't understand a drop of a gavel on a betterment when the estimate that's put forward is silent on the most important aspects. On page two of the recommendations from the town of Arlington, 
which were fairly well written. But I didn't know that Brown Place was being walked early in the year. On page two, those first two points would only be a few words that the contractor could or should have referenced. So I'm not going to coulda, shoulda, woulda yet, but they're not there. I walked the street again today with assistance. Literally every utility access is covered, except for a private gas turnoff at the very end of the street. I only know the prior owner's names. So there's um, access to sewer and all that are all covered. It's, it's in, the, in the town's report. They're deeply covered. In the estimate presented by the contractor, which is my understanding as of yesterday, has not been revised. And again, it is not simply detail and reference and respecting the town of Arlington and its simple recommendations. As I say, page two, the first two bullet points are the key. To bring it back to the original design of the street, which I could talk about in length if you need, because I have quite an excellent memory. I am concerned about safety and security. Everything I say before you now, I have said more than 15 years ago. Many neighbors have left. Of the four that remain, of which I remain one of the five original, um, they have not upheld that what we had discussed in that sense. It was left to the contractor. So this is less about the neighbors and more about a contractor doing work where they have a reputation or experience or we can cite a couple of streets and private ways they may have dealt with. I think, or I know rather, in 2024 in an information age that we can reference the town's recommendations before we drop a gavel and appropriate monies. Thank you, sir. All right, and then, Mr. Town Manager, is there anything that you want to add to the discussion, either about availability of funds or anything that you've heard? Uh, thank you, Mr. Acting Chair. Uh, what I would say is we are you know, fully funded at this point. This would be the first project of the current fiscal year, and money was recently appropriated by town meeting, so uh, no issue there. Uh, one other item I will note uh, with respect to the prior speaker, I do know that perhaps he or maybe someone else had raised uh, a concern about what had been uh, estimated by engineering and then ultimately what the contractor's estimate would be. So I do know the select board's office had the engineering division uh, review the paving proposal from the contractor and ensure that uh, sort of nothing jumped out at them or they didn't feel like anything had been uh, left off and they had confirmed that uh, for the select board's office staff. Thank you. And I, I should have said before I close public comment and just Ms. Meyer, that just want to confirm that there's no other hands that are raised and no one else in the chamber wishes to speak in public comment. All right, we'll close public comment, and I'll turn to the board for any discussions or motions. Yeah, sure. You know, so, well, and I heard the, the Mr. Um, I'm sorry, I, I'm blanking out of your name. Ronnie. Ronnie. Um, um, uh, um, objection. It, uh, it, 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 at this point, the, the, what we generally do is look to make sure that we have I mean, sufficient signatures you know, to do this I mean, uh, and and we we do I mean, all but one I mean and so it it would take you know um, something seriously awry you know, for us for me to feel that I couldn't go forward with this you know and so I'm going to make a motion I mean to approve the betterment Thank you. Um, just a question for the town manager for the further clarification with respect to the last speaker's concerns. Um, I know that you review these or your or people that you trust do. Do you have any concerns about the scope of work, the appropriateness of, appropriateness of the work um, in the documents that you've reviewed um, in, the, in the opinion of yourself and of the DPW um, staff? Uh, thank you, Mr. Helmuth. At this point, having reviewed what uh, office staff have shared, it seems uh, like the proposed scope of work 
closely aligns with that which engineering uh, had outlined, but with respect to the prior speaker's comments, it's, and I, and I guess I wouldn't know if it's entirely clear or not based on the description provided by the paving contractor, if the uh, precast structures incorporated into the estimate are in fact those that are referenced by engineering as being uh, below grade. That's something I would need to speak with the town's engineer about directly or with the paving contractor directly, just because it's you know, buried into the uh, item description to know if that, if those referrals are in fact one-to-one -one references or if it's something different. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll go ahead and second the motion. The, these are always difficult. I live in a private way myself, um, as does at least one other member of this body, and uh, I'm painfully aware of, of the personal costs in, incurred, but also aware, as, as my colleague Mr. Diggins said that the only way that the board has been able to fairly deal with this this situation nobody wants you know we're all stuck with the reality of private ways uh, which is that you know if we have a sufficient petition before us as we do from our butters and you know if the town has done its due diligence in, re in reviewing the the work and the proposed work then i think that you know we we do a public hearing we consider the things we hear but we ultimately do traditionally appeal it so that's what I, or approve it which so that's what i would uh, support tonight Thank you, and again, I appreciate the discussion. I think, as the other members have said, it's a difficult task to, you know, go through this process and have somebody that objects to an abetment have to bear the cost of the repaving. But I mean, the law that we use for these betterments is is pretty well spoken, and I think we. You know, we have a process of approving betterments in, in once we have materials where it's over 66%. I was going off of the materials that I have in front of me that just has all yeses, so I can certainly note a no in my head here, but still do the numbers to see that we're over the 66%. I think with that much, we're past public comment, with that much uh, support amongst the neighbors, it's clearly I did a... Not. Undecided. Okay. Sorry. The, the words sir. Are and sir, we're past public comment. Okay. The we're past public comment, sir. The contract. We're past yes. public comment. Thank you. Um, so I'll be voting in favor of this as well. So we have a motion by Mr. Diggins, seconded by Mr. Helmuth. All those in favor say aye. 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 That will close the public hearing. And that will bring us to appointments. So our first appointment that we have is to the Council on Aging. We have Margaret, Margaret Iwobi, term to expire June 30th, 2027. Good to see you in here. Usually when we have appointments, yeah. it's on the screen. It's, it's that was a little bit of the <laughs> delay there. Welcome. Thank you for your willingness to serve. If you could just tell us a little bit about your interests to serve on the Council on Aging. Well, I first got involved in the uh, Council on the Aging when um, I, I moved uh, I only moved into Arlington in 2020, about four years ago. Right? Um, I had spent a number of years in uh, New York State earlier before moving up here, right? Uh, and I had done um, Medicare counseling there, right? Um, and I wanted to get involved in um, the same thing here. So I became what in Massachusetts is known as a shine counselor, right? It helps people with uh, Medicare questions. Right? And they uh, are uh, through the uh, uh, Council on the Aging. That's how I got involved with the Council on the Aging as a, as a shine counselor. And then I started seeing all the, you know, all the things that, that they do, right? And um, I thought maybe I could get more involved. And actually one of the former uh, board members who was leaving the board lives across the street from me, right? And so she asked me if I would be interested, right? 
And um, my first response was, you know, I haven't lived in Arlington very long. Right? Uh, I'm not sure what I would have to contribute, right? And then um, that I, I thought maybe I would learn more from the experience than I would give back, right? Uh, but after you know talking to her some more and thinking about it and talking to Christine at the Council on the Aging, I said, I'll do it. <laughs> right? Right. So um, uh, that's what brought me here. Right. We, we appreciate you stepping up to serve. I will turn to the board for any motions. Mr. Diggins? I'll be happy to motion, make a motion to approve her appointment to the Council on Aging. And I will just say thank you very much. I, mean, I, I, did not, I didn't know about Shine before I read you know, your, um, your resume. And it really does seem like an interesting program. And it's something that I think I might look into myself because I think, I mean, first off, I'd learn. <laughs> A lot about it. Thursday mornings at the Council on the Aging. Uh, and, and I think it's a good way to, to um, in a sense, pay it forward, you know, because certainly, I mean, I will want the services made of, that the Council on Aging offers sooner rather than later, you know, so, so, um, so thank you very much. Mr. Helmuth? Delighted to second that. Thank you very much for your service. I thought your resume was, was wonderful, actually. I know you said that you had been a while since you put it together, but it was really a delight to see your long and, and wonderful history of service to many different communities. And it's wonderful to see you uh, still being willing to, uh, to serve this community. So I know well, you'll uh, benefit from it. I found it very satisfying in, in, when I did it in New York, and um, I wanted to continue it here. So I'm yeah, happy great. to be able to do that. Excellent. Thank you. So we have a motion to approve by Mr. Diggins, seconded by Mr. Helmuth. All those in favor say aye. 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 You are approved. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So next on appointments, we have Commission for Arts and Culture, Laurie Bogdan. Hi. Don't let me get my video on here. Hi, folks. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Sure. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your willingness to serve. If you could just tell us a little bit about your interest for, on the Commission on, on Arts and Culture. Well, many of you know me because I've participated in the last eight or so years in public art and with Art Links and Arts Arlington. And it was just my time to step forward and join as a commissioner. And that is why I'm here tonight. Thank you. I'll turn to the board for any <laughs> Mr. Helmuth. Thank you very much. It's, it is a, you are indeed a familiar face in our community and, and a valuable member of our thriving arts community. I'm a fan of your work and uh, I think it will be uh, wonderful to have your perspective on this body. Thank you for your willingness to serve. I uh, move approval. Thank you. A motion to approve by Mr. Helmuth. And, and I'll second, and I'll just say I'm a bigger fan, you know, so, so just, just so. fine. <laughs> so, and, and, but, but, but you'll have to answer one question, you know, for me, please. And that is, what does it mean um, by thinking beyond the GPS? <laughs> Thanks for asking, Len. I love that you always ask a good question. Thinking beyond the GPS is because with my collage birds, I put um, actual vintage roadmap behind there and people kind of forgot how to use a map and I think that's important so that's what I mean by thinking beyond the GPS well thank you they actually looked it up because I thought maybe I just was behind you know the curve on, on the lingo these days so that's very nah, clever my own thing yeah, <laughs> very clever you know so maybe we'll turn it into a catchphrase so thank you Thank you. And we have a motion to approve by Mr. Helmuth, seconded by Mr. Diggins. All those in favor say aye. 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 You are approved. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Moving right along. Licenses and permits for, 12, uh, <laughs> for approval. Wine and malt alcohol license change of manager. Noodle market. Jiddy Khan Jantik. Hopefully, I'm within the range there. <laughs> so my name is Chitika. If you can just introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about your uh, application okay. here. Yeah, so I am work in the noodle market restaurant. So the old manager, they're out. And right now, change for 
change real life to me. So I'm um, the partner of, of the restaurant too. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. And I'll turn to the board for any questions for the proponent. And we will look to see if any members of the public have any comment about this application. Seeing no hands raised. With that, we will close public comment. And I will turn to the board for any motions. I will make a motion to approve the change of ownership or management. I will second that motion. All right, we have a motion to approve by Mr. Diggins, seconded by Mr. Helmuth. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Aye, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have to remember to say I myself. Yes. That's right. It's odd to answer your own question. Yes. yes. All right. Item 13 on our agenda. Outdoor restaurant and retail permit application. Zomza Restaurant and Bar. Mukan Pakaro. Sorry, come up and sit at the seat here. Thank you very much. So actually, my name is Raj. So I came in place of my friend. So I'm also one of the partners from Jomsa Restaurant. Okay. So like, um, so we are new in the business and like um, a lot of uh, guests has been asking us if we have like outdoor like um, seating, it would be very nice. So we like on this like summer season, like uh, we thought about like having like a little bit like a patio in front uh, of the restaurant. Um, so maybe like I think two parking spots. So so like to extend our business as well and also to uh, do some marketing and uh, I think it will be good for like exposure of the Zomsa restaurants like for the marketing uh, from marketing side as well. So we applied for the request for the outdoor sitting as well. All right and I will turn to the board for you. Questions, comments, or motions? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I will move approval, but I have a question for the town manager. Um, and I just want to reference the uh, inspection report uh, noted that the application per, uh, that we received, the forms, um, was for six tables and for 25 chairs. And that the diagram that was submitted was just for uh, 20 tables and 20 chairs. So, um, well, I guess before I talk to the town manager, I'll ask, ask the applicant, is your intention to apply for the for the six tables and 25 or the five tables and the 20 seats? Um, I think it's about like 20 seats. The five tables and 20 seats? Yeah. That would be on the um, the, the one on, on the diagram? Yeah, that should be. Okay, thank you. Um, and I wonder if the town manager had any comment about, you know, if that seemed like the right or any advice for the, for the board given the discrepancy of the... Um, the application, the applicant has just stated um, that five tables and 20 seats would be okay. Um, that was in the diagram, but the um, the application said six. If you had any sort of guidance for us based on past practice or best practices. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Helmuth. I think in this instance, uh, obviously it, the board has some discretion here in which they want to approve, but uh, I think we should just specify that at this time so we can note it in the approval letter. Uh, from my perspective, I think that given the proposed layout and the barriers that we are likely place to place to cordon off these two parking spaces, I think that the diagram may not appropriately account for the, the footprint or dimension of those barriers, and it's likely to uh, shrink that area. Uh, so with that, I would recommend the uh, five table arrangement as just now proposed by the uh, applicant to ensure there is sufficient uh, square footage to accommodate those tables and chairs. Is that right to you? Yeah, that's me. Okay, so yeah, I will, I will move, uh, move approval but with, with the clarification that'll be for five tables and, um, and was it 20 seats that we say? For five tables. Um, the other thing I would like to say is I'm really glad that the restaurant's in town. I've had a, a wonderful meal there myself. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's becoming, a, I don't want it to be a secret uh, because I think it's really, really exciting. The flavors are great. The staff was really friendly. And I think you really bring a lot to Arlington. So right. we're Thank very happy very to much. have you. And I hope that this is helpful in, uh, in continuing your, your business. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, um, so we are new here. So uh, we saw that Arlington, like um, people there are like a very like, um, support him and they keep coming and like they've been saying us like oh 
uh, you're like um, jump. Everyone is talking about jump start restaurant in Arlington. I think they have some pages in like Facebook as well. So they've been talking about all this stuff. So which is like I think very good good news for us. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I mean, so along the line of questioning from my colleague, I mean, so we have to specify the exact number now. We couldn't do up to a given number. Yeah, whomever. I mean, yeah. Mr. I can share that through you to Mr. Diggins. Yeah, the, it can be. It could change the language to up to. I think um, you know the board has the discretion to consider the applicant's information, which could, was conflicting a bit. Um, but then also the manager's comments, which seem to be helpful to establish what might be safe in the space. So, if uh, certainly an up to language, if that were the motion that Mr. Helmuth made or were amended to to say that, um, that would preclude a higher number. So I think it would be uh, safe and enough space for 20 seats and five tables would be, if you want to include that language, Mr. Diggins, or propose that, I think that would be acceptable. But I think it's helpful uh, to have that on the record so when the approval letter is issued that the applicant is aware of what exactly they can do. Yeah, it was more of a curiosity question than anything else. I mean, I, I don't feel strongly in the, the need to um, change things. I mean, people feel that it's cleaner, I mean, to just have a specified number as opposed to an up to number. I mean, I'm fine with that. I mean, if you think um, it's okay, I mean, if you're comfortable with the upper number, I mean, I feel like give them, give them the headroom, I mean, and allow I me mean, good judgment on the part of everyone involved. But once again, it's not something I feel strongly about. It's more so just being curious than anything else. So, um, Mr. Cunningham's hand is back up. Uh, and I would say that my opinion that if the board were to approve, you know, five tables and 20 chairs. There's no requirement. That, that's what the applicant's allowed to do. Right. There'd be no requirement that the applicant then set five tables and 20 chairs. They could set four tables and 16 chairs. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, I think Attorney Cunningham's uh, rationale sounds fine to me. I think my, I meant that to be inclusive of, of t five tables, 20 chairs or less yeah. um, by, by a common application of that. S setting the ceiling rather than the setting floor. Setting the ceiling right. the floor, yeah, right. right. Although, personally, since I'm a fan of food, I hope it is five tables. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, yeah, yeah. I think you'll fill them. Yeah. I'll just add, too, I mean, you had a really good review. I mean, I, I haven't been there yet, I mean, so I, I, will, I will look forward to the outdoor seating, you know, and that, that will increase the chances I'll get there sooner. But I saw an excellent review, you know, so, so and one thing they said that's just very true about Arlington is that we have a wide diversity of food here. It's really hard to go anywhere else to eat, you know, because you just get any kind of cuisine here and you add to that. So thank you very much. Yeah. And you seconded the motion, right? I think I did, but I'll just do so formally now. You know, so I second it. Yeah. All right. And then I will open this up for public comment. If anyone in the room or in Zoom would like to speak to this application. Seeing no hands raised. Seeing no hands, we will close public comment. Then, so my only comment, and I think it's a question for the, the town manager, which was unclear, when we have a parklet, who provides the barriers? Is it the, the town? Okay. Because, I mean, I've always been a big proponent and supporter of parklets. I think outdoor dining is great. This, this your location is kind of a little unique versus some of our other applications. There's a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. You know, through, I, my office is right here. You know, we have two lanes of traffic. Mm -hmm. We have a bike lane. We have a bus stop right beyond yeah. your park yes. there. So as you go through the light, there's a lot going on. But I, you know, I trust that you'll operate appropriately, and the town will take all necessary steps to make sure it's safe before they give you a permit to open it up. Mm -hmm. And I would just say, just as you use it, there is a bike lane right there, and it gets used a lot, or a share the road area for bikes to just make sure that nothing's sticking out beyond the area that you're allotted and you know it's your responsibility to make sure you do that but other than that I love the application and wish you good luck with it oh, thank you very much so we have a motion to approve by Mr. Helmuth seconded by Mr. Diggins all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. <laughs> all right. approved yep. thank you very much sir. that brings us to open forum accepting Unusual circumstances, any matter presented for consideration of the board shall neither be acted upon nor a decision made the night of the presentation in accordance with the policy under which the open forum was established. It should be noted that there is a three minute time limit to present a concern or request. At this time, well, there's nobody in the, the room, so we'll go to Zoom. Just if anyone in 
the Zoom would like to speak in open forum, please raise your hand now. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, that hands. will close our open forum. And that brings us to correspondence received. We have the Civilian Police Advisory Commission appointment, James Feeney, town manager. I'll, I'll proceed. I will second that. Right. We have a motion to receive by Mr. Diggins, seconded by Mr. Helmuth. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Before we want to go to new business, I just want to, and Attorney Cunningham, you can stop me if I shouldn't be doing this. I did want to make a point of clarification for the meeting on the betterment order. I think I heard someone as they're leaving, and I might have, just so, so I don't confuse anyone, when I said that we had unanimous yeses or unanimous consent, the all we had of butters that answered was yeses on the materials we had under eight brattle place that was empty so there was no yes listed under eight brattle place and i think there was some confusion with the gentleman that was in the chamber earlier so i just wanted to clarify that all right with that we will go to new business Ms. Meyer. no new business thank you attorney cunningham no new business thank you mr feeney no new business Mr. Helmuth. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I, would, I would just uh, like to express my appreciation for the town manager, uh, the assistant director of planning, and, and uh, many residents and officials today that attended the uh, ribbon cutting for the Housing Corporation of Arlington's newest ADU on Dorothy Road. Um, as a bonus, they really went all in on the Dorothy metaphor, and there was a pair, there was a pair of, of witch's legs from the Wizard of Oz under the house, and they're naming it Dorothy. <laughs> Uh, but uh, but levity aside, it was a great. You know, it's, it's the it's the first uh, deeply affordable uh, income restricted ADU in Arlington, and has the added benefit of being a passive house, solar powered with a solar battery, and uh, it was funded uh, in large part through town funds uh, in partnership with the Affordable Housing Trust Fund, which I'm privileged to represent the select board as a member. And as our town manager said in his excellent remarks, it couldn't have checked more boxes for us, for the community's values, for its openness to new neighbors, for its commitment to, uh, as I said to the crowd, to yes in my backyard. And it was a proud moment. It was a great turnout. I think it was great to be able to tour, tour the house. And I just want to once again congratulate the Housing Corporation of Arlington's board and staff and volunteers and residents who worked together uh, to keep bringing great projects like this to the town. Thank you, Mr. Diggins. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. I mean, I'm glad you made that clarification because I, mean, I, I heard, you know, the upset too, I mean, and, and, and yeah. it was easy to kind of see it as unanimous when it did just have some blanks because the other one that was blank was like for a lot I mean, that had nothing on it. And, and also, I just want to um, help you with a little bit of confusion in that, you know, um, he, the, the most hair does not mean <laughs> the most good looking, just saying. <laughs> I don't really think that. That was a joke. <laughs> All right, and in my new business, I just wanted to note that the Arlington eight year old all star team, of which I do not have any kids on, is currently the, the last team standing. They're our youngest players that are in Cal Ripken All Stars, and they're in the regionals in Connecticut right now. And they're three and zero, oh, and they've beaten every team by about eight runs. So, if they go beyond this in the next couple of days, I think they go to Georgia. So, congratulations to them. It's it's a good run for a lot of kids that haven't played organized baseball to at that level, ever. So, congratulations to the Arlington Eight U Cal Ripken All Star team, and hopefully we'll wish them good luck through the end of this week. With that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion. motion by Mr. Helmuth, seconded by Mr. Diggins. All those in favor say aye. 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 ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.